Hello, welcome to part 4 of this series. Let's move to our 76th question. The test used to measure the integrity of adductor mechanism of the hip. Option A, Faber's test. Option B, tendon plex test. Option C, telescopy test. Option D, squaring of pelvis. And the answer is Option B, tendon plex test. Moving to our 77th question. Amputation through the mid tarsal joint is known as Option A. Liz Frank's amputation. Option B. Chopard's amputation. Option C. Sims amputation. Option D. Biot's amputation. And the answer is Option B. Chopard's amputation. Moving to our 78th question. Winging of the scapula is due to the lesion of Option A. Long thoracic nerve. Option B. Dorsal scapular nerve. Option C. Thoracodorsal nerve. Option D. Subscapular nerve. And the answer is Option A. Long thoracic nerve. Moving to our 79th question. The most common site of both spine is Option A. Cervical spine. Option B. Lower thoracic spine. Option C. Lumbar spine. Option D. Sacral spine. And the answer is Option B. Lower thoracic spine. Moving to our 80th question. The early sign of Wolfsmann's ischemic contracture is Option A. Pale and cold hand. Option B. Pain on passive extension. Option C. Obliteration of the radial pulse. Option D. Red and warm hand. And the answer is Option B. Pain on the passive extension. Moving to our 81st question. The crystal deposit in the joint in Goti arthritis is Option A. Calcium pyrophosphate. Option B. Calcium oxalate. Option C. Molten sodium urate crystals. Option D. Disodium urate. And the answer is Option C. Monosodium urate crystals. Moving to our 82nd question. The intervertebral disc pressure is lowest during Option A. Lying supine. Option B. Lying on one side. Option C. Seating. Option D. Disodium urate. And the answer is Option A. Lying supine. Moving to our 83rd question. Injury to C8 nerve root cause paralysis of Option A. Flexor of the wrist. Option B. Extensors of the wrist. Option C. Biceps. Option D. Brachioradialis. And the answer is Option A. Flexors of the wrist. Moving to our 84th question. From and sign is positive in lesion of Option A. Median nerve injury. Option B. Radial nerve injury. Option C. Ulnar nerve injury. Option D. Axillary nerve injury. And the answer is Option C, ulnar nerve injury. Moving to our 85th question, cross linkage in sacromere is by Option A, myosin. Option B, calmodulin. Option C, actin. Option D, tropomyosin. And the answer is Option D, tropomyosin. Moving to our 86th question, the smallest current intensity required to elicitate a minimal contractile response. Option A, chronaxia. Option B, royal base. Option C, single stimulus. Option D, half stimulus. And the answer is Option B, Rio base. Moving to our 87th question, the most reliable method for detecting bony metastasis of the following. Option A, MRI. Option B, radiography. Option D, SPECT. Option D, CT scan. And the answer is... Option D, CT scan. Moving to our 88th question, the most common cause of neuropathic joint. Option A. Diabetes. Option B. Leprosy. Option C. Syphilis. Option D. Rheumatoid arthritis. And the answer is Option A. Diabetes. 
Moving to our 89th question, cause and test is diagnosis of Option A, ulnar bursitis, Option B, tennis elbow, Option C, carpal tunnel syndrome, Option D, decutance disease And the answer is Option B, tennis elbow Moving to our 90th question, the gate control theory of pain modulation was first proposed by Option A, Tencent and Podolsky, Option B, Popa, Option C, Carr and Shepard, Option D, Melzak and Wall. And the answer is Option D, Melzak and Wall. Moving to our 91st question, treatment suggestions for low muscle tone. Option A, Hydrotherapy, Option B, Quick Eyes, Option C, Electrical Stimulation, Option D, All of the Above. And the answer is Option D, All of the Above. Moving to our 92nd question, the intensity of ultrasound machine with total output of 30 watts and rotating surface of 10 cm square. Option A, 30 watts per centimeter square, option B 10 watts per centimeter square, option C 3 watts per centimeter square, option D 0.3 watts per centimeter square and the answer is option C 3 watts per centimeter square. Moving to our 93rd question, Dugas test is diagnosis of option A anterior dislocation of the shoulder, option B scaphoid fracture, option C fracture of the neck or femur, option D dislocation of the hip and the answer is option A anterior dislocation of the shoulder. Moving to our 94th question, nerve involved in carpal tunnel syndrome is Option A, accessory nerve. Option B, axillary nerve. Option C, ulnar nerve. Option D, median nerve. And the answer is Option D, median nerve. Moving to our 95th question, the frequency of tuning fork used to test the vibration is Option A 218Hz, Option B 216Hz, Option C 128Hz, Option D 256Hz and the answer is Option C 128Hz Moving to our 96th question, the variable which is manipulated in pyrometric power training regimen is Option A speed of movement, Option B resistance to motion, Option C power of motion, Option D all of the above and the answer is Option A speed of movement. Moving to our 97th question, Springle deformity is Option A absence of clavicle, Option B acromioclavicular joint dislocation, Option C congenital elevation of the scapula, Option D recurrent dislocation of the shoulder and the answer is Option C congenital elevation of the scapula. Moving to our 98th question, abduction of the shoulder joint above 90 degree is due to action of Option A serratus anterior, Option B supraspinatus, Option C biceps, Option D trapezius and the answer is Option A serratus anterior. Moving to our 99th question, the commonest cause of cervical brachial neuralgia is Option A cervical rip, Option B selenius antiquus syndrome, Option C cervical spondylosis. Option D acute cervical disc prolapse and the answer is Option C cervical spondylosis Moving to our 100th question Otterlini test is elicited in which of the following condition Option A achondropalacia Option B anterior shoulder dislocation Option C congenital dislocation of the hip Option D medial collateral ligament in here and the answer is Option C, congenital dislocation of the hip. 
So that's the end of this series. If you need clarification for any of the above questions, do comment in the comment box. I'll be back with a new series soon. So do subscribe to this channel for watching those videos. Thank you.